Yo, how's it going, guys? This is insane. We have so much stuff to talk about on Wizard101 right now. There has been a lot of stuff added uh, to the crown shop and a lot of stuff happening. So, first things first, let's go over here. This is insane. I was not expecting this. So, we got double pet XP. This ends Tuesday. It's bizarre how double pet XP starts now. Even though it's like Thursday right now, so like, yeah, that that's a little strange. We also have the Chroma Cat mount is now in a crown shop, and we have the infamous rainbow teleporter effect. Now this returns. I don't know what is happening, and we also have the super horde of the Hydra pack. So we're gonna log in, baby, and yeah, we're just gonna check it all out because, <laughs> wow, we got a lot to talk about crown stuff and just everything it's just insane yeah texting my mom the kids are up but I hope you guys are having a lovely day I just woke up by the way you know me we gotta get the whiz news I just want to say that last time they put the rainbow teleporter effect on Pride Month, the comment section was a little toxic, so I won't know if people are going to be genuinely mad because a lot of people, I guess, um, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> All I know is that the last time they brought out the rainbow teleporter effect, uh, a lot of people were not happy with it, so... Yeah, we'll see what happens there, but yeah, here we go. We're back on the Wiz. I haven't played Wiz in a while. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. All right, let's check the teleporter effect, or let's check out the crown shop. We got a lot of stuff happening. So the Chroma Cat permanent is at 7,500. I like how it sparkles. Pretty cute. I like that. I like that. Yeah, that's actually a nice amount. So yeah, 7,500 right there off the bat. We got the Rainbow Teleporter effect. It's back at its normal price, 2500 Now, I am not sure when this is leaving the uh, crown shop, but I will say that this is probably one of my favorite teleporter um, animations. When it first came out, I instantly bought it from me and Nicole. Um, it, and it's cheap. It's 5 bucks. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. And I just, I don't know. I really love this Rainbow Teleporter. Well, I'll show you what it looks like. Look. Wait. See? I love it. Absolutely one of my favorites, dude. I just love the animation for it. I mean, it's better than the Cherry Blossom from the Spring Scroll of Fortune, and that's a fact, bro. The Cherry Blossom teleporter effect is just a 2D image. I, I did not like that teleporter effect. But, yeah, um, it's in the crown shop. And, of course, we got a double pet XP. Um, this ends Tuesday. So, that's bizarre. Okay, like, that isn't, I don't know why. Look, here's a cherry blossom teleporter effect right here. See, I don't, I don't like that one. Like, I, see, I don't like the cherry blossom. But, yeah, it's double pet XP right now. So, if you're a member, it ends on Tuesday. Kind of weird how they're starting it now, but, uh, yeah, um, there it is. Alright, the next thing I wanted to talk about regarding, uh, Beast Moon Seeds. Actually... I'll save that for a different video because I want to go in depth about that. We will save that for a different video. But yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys, see how you guys are doing on the Wiz side. Um, pretty interesting stuff that happened in that maintenance. They finally released their patch notes because whenever they do a maintenance, they take so long to do a patch note. So whenever I make a video, I'm actually making a video before they even release a patch note because they just take so long to just upload a patch note listing. But luckily they did and I had to look this up real quick but apparently this uh, whatchamacallit this maintenance actually had a few things to keep in mind so going on to this now cloak I'll explain the reasoning for cloak being no PvP so here it is they reduced the triggering frequency of the Maycast mana burn and the outlaws courtesy and PvP so for those of you that don't know, there's been a Maycast issue going on with PvP lately. There's been some Maycast triggering a little bit more frequently. Let me know if you guys ever seen a little bit too much Maycast action. But yeah, they reduced the triggering frequency for at least the Manaburn Maycast and the uh, Outlaws Courtesy in PvP. So, bug fixes for PvP matchmaking to address mismatches in queue times. 
So this is talking about all the Q times. We mentioned that in the video and some of the mismatches. So again, they have this type of skill-based matchmaking. It's going to try and put you in a similar rank as you, try and make the match as fair as possible, and get you in as quick as possible. So if you guys have still um, slow Q times, let me know. I mean, I would imagine there still might be some people experiencing some longer queue times, especially during the time of day that you're on. But yeah, just let me know if you're still experiencing some, like, small queue times. Alright, going on from that, the blimp pets. Alright, you know the little blimp pets that we got from the pack. Those are now tradable, and they now have proper names. So I can actually go to one of my blimp pets right now, if I do have one somewhere. Yep, here we go. So, yep, Adult Blimp Buddy. Oh, they changed the name to Blimp Buddy. Okay, interesting. So, did they, like, change the names for all of them? Oh, no, Adult Blimp Pal. Oh, okay. They changed the names of them, so you don't know if you, uh, whatchamacallit. It doesn't say what school it is. It used to say, like, Ice Blimp and stuff like that. So, yeah, they changed the names for that. Pretty cool. Adult Blimp Companion. Alright, pretty cool stuff. So, make sure to check that out. I know they also did some modifications with the Motorist Pack as well. The Trolley Mount Speed increased from 40% to 50%. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's actually that's an interesting one. Now, the Trolley Mount Pop-Up now functions as expected and temporarily set cloak to no pvp until we have addressed some exploitable uh, bugs um with certain other spells i believe athena battle site um was one of them so it looks like they're trying to fix um whatever is happening with cloak right now i know cloak is a little messy right now so hopefully they fix that i'll let you guys know when that's not um, a no pvp um anymore so that pretty much wraps it up for everything. We're caught up with everything now. And yeah, the rainbow teleporter effect is back. And uh, I, I don't know, I won't I won't say anything. I, I ain't gonna say nothing, but I, I just think it's a beautiful teleporter effect. I, I, just, I just know that comment section. Oh, when they make that tweet, bro, it is, it ain't gonna be good. Oh my God, because last time they did this, um, what you might call it, a lot of people actually did not like it. The, the whole comment section was just, um, <laughs> oh my god, it, it was all over the place. But I don't know, we'll, we'll see if people like it. Get another chance at the uh, rainbow teleporter effect. It seems like a rare item now. It just seems like it's one of those limited time edition things. So um, I will say the timing of it, um, maybe a little coincidental. I, I don't know if. Maybe it's like a seasonal thing for summer or something like that. I, I have no idea. But, again, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. And, I, you know, I ha hope you guys have a wonderful day. You know, and just, you know, try to you know, lay down on the toxicity, man. Just, I don't know. Try and smile. I know I know it's hard out there, man. But it's just know that I'm here for you. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.